Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. How's everybody doing? I hope y'all are doing great. Today we're talking about radio stations and how your brain and the connections that your brain needs to make sometimes is like a radio station. And I know when I change this dial, when I do this right here, I'm dating myself because that is a dial. And we don't really have dials on radios anymore. <laughs> not in the car, not at home. Um, we, you know, we're listening to music um, through a digital source now, and you know, you don't you don't have that knob to turn. But the oldies and the goodies like me will know what I'm talking about when I say turning the knob. So your brain is this is this, okay. This was the question this morning. Why does my person know? Why can he hold it together for 15 minutes and then on a telephone call with the with the family, you know, five hours away who I've told he's so uh, compromised and, and all, and then they talk to him for 10 minutes on the phone and he's got it. He's there. He's 100%. And it's like, I'm not mad at him. I know that, you know, he, he, that connection was made and he made a lot of sense. I'm not mad at him. I'm just trying to understand it. So the way that I explain it is just like that, just like dialing it in. Your brain is seeking um, a memory. It's trying to find an executive function piece of knowledge. It's trying to um, connect who these people are and how I'm connected with them. So your brain is constantly searching for a channel, you know, searching for uh, who is that? Um, who, who is this? How do we pay the bills? Um, how do we drive the car? Um, can we drive the car? No. My people say I can't drive the car because what were we talking about? So see, it just goes off like that. To me, it makes a lot of sense to think about it like that. Your brain, their brain, our brain is intact. Mine is somewhat intact. Their brain is broken. So you think of a broken brain. And that brokenness is trying to find connection. And sometimes it hits it. It hits it right on the money. But most of the time it's in the static. And so that's hard to explain to people. It's hard. If you get 15 minutes with a doctor nowadays, oh my gosh, you're doing great. Um, normally you get five or 10 minutes and it's you and the person and they don't, they don't get a clear shot of, you know, they're not having a 30 minute conversation. Some people can stay on that, on that station for a few minutes, but if you had a 30 minute conversation with that person, you would absolutely see the losses. And so that is frustrating to people, um, that are with their people all day long and they see the losses, but they can't communicate the losses to other people, other family members, doctors, therapist, um, because they're not seeing the full picture. They're seeing the right, you know, that they've got it dialed in. And you know that most of the time they don't have it dialed in. So I just wanted to come, come on here and make a very quick video about why that is. Um, and it's just the neurotransmitters are trying to talk to each other. They're trying to connect to that memory, to that executive function, um, to that, um, that self. Who am I and who am I to these people? Who are these people to me? Um, how do you make the coffee? How do you brush your teeth? I am not sure where the bathroom is. I do not know who the president is. Oh, yes, the president is Joe Biden because I just saw that on the news because they got it dialed in. And it's just, it is just that. It, it, and it can be so frustrating. And I know that it can be but it is not their fault. They are dealing with a broken brain all day long, 24, seven, 365. They are dealing with their brain, switching up the channels on them. So God bless them and God bless you for taking care of them. It is a long, hard journey and I don't discount it at all. And I'm not making fun of the journey. Please don't think that I am. I'm trying to explain the way that I have seen it happen in the last 20, almost 25 years, over just 28 years now, it's almost 30 years that I've been in the, in the business. And just what I have seen is it is the best way to explain it is like that, that that's the best way I know to explain it. So 
If you don't have a group, if you don't have a support group, a support system, we have one on Facebook and we would love for you to join us. Um, the link is down there in, in the show notes. Um, in the little description part, you might have to hit a little arrow that goes down. Come on over to the support group and get supported. We have people there, um, again, like I said a while ago, 24-7. We have people on the group 24-7 that will answer your question. Um, they are they are personal caregivers themselves. They are going through this, um, and so they can go through it with you. So I would love for you to come over and join. I have a book, Dementia with Grace, A New Positive Way of Dealing with Behaviors in People with Dementia. If you are having behaviors, um, then please come over and, and get a copy of the book. It's, it's available on Amazon again, link down here. Um, and let us know, um, you know, what you think about the book. I just am here to help. I'm just here to help. And if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. Please subscribe so you'll know the next day and hit the bell, hit the bell. When you subscribe, there'll be a little bell and it'll say, do you want all notifications? And you say, yes. When I come on and do a video, you will, uh, when I post a video, you will be alerted that there's a new video. And, and um, most of the time I'm making these videos in response to a question from someone on the group, okay? So join the group, buy the book, um, subscribe to this channel. Those are the three things that I would I would suggest that you do. If you are already on this channel, if you have found us for the first time, do those three things. It'll do it'll 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 do you a world of good. Okay, all right. Okay, I always say goodbye and I love you because I do. I don't know you but I love you. I don't I don't know you but I see you. I know what's going on. Um, I've done this a long time and I've I've I have learned so much from so many caregivers and I just want to give back, okay? All right, I love you. Take care, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.